Hey guys, we're back today, and today we're going to learn our last uh, Zoom-related function, which is your track height. How do you, how can you change the height of your track? Well, there are a couple of ways to do that, um, and here we go. So, let's say that you want to change the height of your track. You want to make it, you know, larger, smaller. Um, first of all, you want to make sure that you don't confuse your waveform height with your actual track height. Waveform height, this is your waveform height. You can make it bigger or smaller, but that's the waveform. Okay, that's just zooming in vertically or zooming out vertically on the waveform. Now, if you want to change the height of your track, you can simply, here, as you can say, it says guitars, you can go to the bottom of the track and you'll see that black double arrow when that happens you can click and drag to expand or make it smaller to change your track height okay you can simply click and drag and once you let it go boom that's it now another way to do it uh, you can see this little arrow here pointing down you got some presets there let's say micro that's micro. You can do um, medium. That's your medium size. You could do jumbo or let's say extreme. Um, so that's how you could change using the track height presets that Pro Tools has. Now there's one key command um, that will basically fit all your tracks into your Pro Tools window. Um, especially when you, when you have multiple tracks, this might be useful to see your timeline. Um, it'll fit all your track. It will make all your tracks to the same size so they all fit in your window. And that key command on a Mac, it's command, option, control, and then arrow down. On a PC, it will be window, alt, control, and then the same arrow down. In this case, we only have one track, right? So as you can see, what happens is when I do that, it'll fit it to the window. Now let's say we had more than one track. Let's go ahead and duplicate this. Um, duplicate it twice. So now we got all these tracks, right? We got three. Uh, I'm gonna change the colors to make it more obvious. There, yeah, so we got three tracks, right? One, two, three. If I use that command that I told you, once again, on a Mac, command, option, control, arrow, down, on a PC, it'll be window, alt, control, arrow, down, boom. It'll make them all the same size so that they fit on your screen, okay? So, that's how you change your track height in Pro Tools. If you have any other questions, please call us from BDM PC Audio Labs and we will be happy to help you. We will see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Want to learn how to produce music using this or using that or using all of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.